So that we'll discuss about heat transfer and the modes. Heat is basically energy, and energy always flows. And to flow, energy is also a wave. So for the wave to propagate the energy to flow, there must be some uh, difference of uh, uh, potential. Here, the there must be temperature difference. So when there is temperature difference, the quantity that flows is called heat. Heat always flows from the body at high temperature to body at low temperature. The reverse is uh, possible, but we have to work uh, externally with, to, to take the help of uh, external agent. This happens in case of a refrigerator. The heat is transferred from uh, a body at low temperature to a body at high temperature. Anyway, this uh, heat transfer is basically the heat has to be uh, transported from one part of the medium to another part of the medium. If I talk about the medium, the medium, if it has medium, then it has a matter. Matter is there, then it is called material medium. Now, what type of, uh, what are the types of uh, transfer of heat? In how many ways you can transfer heat in a medium? If you look uh, through the transfer of heat, we find that uh, there are uh, basically three different modes of transfer of heat. Three different modes of transfer of heat. Conduction, convection and radiation. Conduction is the mode of transfer of heat where the atoms or the molecules of the medium itself will not move or leave their main positions, carry the energy, go to the other part of the medium and transfer it. It is not the case. In conduction, heat is transported from one part of the medium to another part of the medium with vibrations of atoms and molecules. So, they vibrate about their main positions and thereby the energy is transferred from one particle to its neighboring particle, then the from the neighboring to its next neighboring particle. This is how heat is transferred. So, heat is transferred from one part of the medium to another part of the medium without actual migration of the particles of the medium. Okay, that is convection at the conduction. What is conduction? So, particles will not move, okay, but the vibrations uh, transfer the energy from one to the next. So, this is what is known as conduction. So, for conduction to take place, we require a medium. So, that medium conduction is not possible, okay. As far as uh, convection and radiations are concerned, convection is uh, here also we require medium, first thing. medium is required. Without medium, convection is not possible. Then what exactly is convection? Here, the particles of the medium can move from one place to another place. There is migration of particles of the medium. In case of conduction, there is no migration. But the migration is possible here. So, it is the mode of transfer of heat where particles move from one part of the medium to another part of the medium and carry their energy and transfer its energy to the other part. That is uh, done physically. 
the next is the radiation radiation basically uh, is a electromagnetic uh, in nature uh, it is that mode of uh, heat transfer where uh, heat is uh, transferred from one part of the medium to other, another part of the medium that uh, transfer uh, takes place in uh, vacuum also it's possible that uh, some uh, part is uh, uh, lost in vacuum now we will discuss it uh, afterwards because in uh, another standard we will be studying about uh, radiations in details okay radiation is uh, basically heat transfer where uh, the heat that is transferred that falls in the uh, electromagnetic waves in uh, infrared uh, region basically infrared uh, uh, waves and uh, we will discuss more that in uh, the standard but uh, as far as the element is concerned we will uh, focus our attention to conduction and convection in uh, convection i can uh, give you uh, one example i will I'll discuss with one example suppose uh, there is a cup of uh, tea which is kept uh, on a uh, table now the tea will uh, we know that after some time it will uh, cool down its temperature will decrease and the heat from the t is transferred to the surrounding that is the room the room temperature is obviously less than the temperature of the hot t so therefore heat flows from that t to the air molecules surrounding it what type of uh, transfer of heat is this it is the uh, initial is conduction no conduction is a physical contact all the molecules should be physically contact but there is no physical contact conduction takes place only in solid so between liquid and the environment the atmosphere the gas it is not uh, conduction it is the convection okay it is uh, because of the convection it is because of the radiation that is taking place okay it is because of the radiation that is taking place okay so it will radiate heat convection is uh, also there in case of a uh, gas like uh, or uh, in case of a liquid if you boil liquid okay when you boil liquid the liquid at the bottom gets heated first then uh, because uh, it's hot its temperature will uh, be high and density will less so it will go to the top of the water and the cold water will come down the molecules which is cold will come down because that is density is high it will come down and then it takes the heat goes to the top so this cycle will take place the molecules will uh, at the bottom will uh, take heat the density will decrease go to the top and the top molecules will come down so that is a cycle that is the current that flows in this sense from bottom to the top and top to the bottom the cycle continues this is called convection current this is called convection current the convection current takes place this is how convection if a substance is there hot body is there you blow for a uh, fan that is you blow air to cool it then the air will cool the hot body and what is the mode of transfer of it which takes the heat from the body hot body it is a part of a convection some part is convection some part is radiation so it can be mixture of uh, uh, both okay so today student will discuss about one uh, type of convection that we are talking about which is the land breeze and the sea breeze the land breeze and sea breeze that we have studied might have studied in your uh, geography class in your school level but still we will discuss that here we will again discuss this for you that is uh, what is a land breeze and what is a sea breeze first land breeze and next we will discuss about the sea breeze <coughs>
land breeze is uh, there is a land here this land and the sea is here okay this is the sea and this is the land okay now what happens is and uh, you know that uh, there are two things involved one is the water when you talk about sea means it is about the water and uh, when you talk about the land it is the uh, soil these two substances have different specific heats that means they the they change their temperature with a different amount of heat and they lose their temperature also by different amount of heat now during uh, night because throughout the day the sea and the land the soil and the water both will get heat from the sun raising their respective temperatures the soil the land will become hot and the water will also become hot now what happens is uh, <coughs> at night during night the sea that the water has higher specific heats compared to the specific heat of soil specific heat of water and this is specific heat of uh, soil the specific heat of water is more than the specific heat of soil that means uh, to for if you choose unit mass of both the substances you require more heat to raise the temperature of uh, water than soil similarly to cool down also it will release a more amount of heat so because of its high specific heat during night the water will still remain warmer it will still remain hot compared to the land the land cools faster because of it loses the heat because the specific heat is less so as time passes more heat they will emit equal amount of heat but then that cools the land faster because the specific is less so it will cool the, the land cools faster compared to water on sea the sea water is warmer this is cooler now what happens if this is hot surface this is cold surface the air above water and the air above land air above water and air above land the air above water will become hot because the surface is hot because the uh, water is still warmer so air will also become hotter compared to the air above the land so the air lying above land is cooler the air lying above water is hot now what happens is hot air and it is a discussion about hot air and cold air hot air has less density cold air has higher density because of less density it will move up the air above the surface of water in sea during night will move up and that cannot be vacuum if all the air starts moving up that cannot be a vacuum there that region has to be filled and the air from land will start flowing towards the sea because that is cold so it will fill the gap the so cold water the cold air will come towards sea and the sea air will come towards the land like this so here that means it will go up and the air will blow from the land to water this is this breeze is called a land breeze the land breeze is uh, from land to sea and that happens during night because of the difference in the specific heats similarly we can uh, talk of uh, sea breeze sea breeze uh, is exactly the opposite thing the so here the air currents is from uh, 
land to to the sea because uh, the warmer air will go up so to feel this it will move like this okay go off and this will continue like this so in case of a sea breeze what happens that we will discuss so students i was discussing about the land breeze now today we will discuss about the sea breeze in sea breeze the opposite thing happens that is from this is the land this is the sea in land breeze the air flows from uh, land to sea and in case of a sea breeze it is from uh, sea towards the land this happens uh, this sea breeze is formed uh, during uh, day time now again the logic is same during uh, day time the sea water takes more time uh, to heat compared to the land the soil gets uh, has specific heat which is less compared to this so it uh, quickly gets heated up and therefore compared to this uh, air lying above the land and air lying above uh, the sea water the air here is uh, hotter compared to the air here this is uh, comparatively cooler and here it is warmer so therefore uh, being warm its uh, density decreases and uh, it uh, moves off the so air here will move off okay move off and uh, because uh, it is uh, cold it will draw towards this point so to fill the space it will draw towards this this will move off and then it will come down like that the current is set up this is called uh, convection current from uh, sea towards the land this breeze is called a uh, sea breeze that you see during uh, the time in the other case this is called a uh, convection current this is convection current so that is uh, how convection takes place in uh, uh, this situation so we discussed about the sea breeze and land breeze okay so uh, next time we'll uh, discuss more about uh, other things okay thank you